Okay, so today we're actually going to create a business. So if you've ever thought about creating a business, but uh, are maybe hesitant because there's so many steps involved, this is what we're going to do. We're going to break this down into, into little bitty pieces and help you through it. So there are basically two types of businesses. There are those that sell products and those that sell services. And then you can break those down further. But the net net is today's uh, age. You really have to have a, uh, a, a website. Um, and so what we're going to do is uh, walk through the process of getting a domain, uh, having it hosted, uh, uh, designing and building the, uh, the website. Um, we're going to tie it into, and this will be a series of videos, but we're going to tie it into YouTube and Facebook and um, Twitter and, and maybe Google Plus or something like that to do some, some marketing around our goods or services. So in our case, what we're going to do is we're going to get the domain name first. We have to register that. So I'm going to go to Yahoo. You can use a lot of different uh, um, places to do this, but I'm going to Yahoo specifically because uh, it's kind of a one-stop shop and it's it's uh, simple and cheap. And um, there are, uh, it, it, it's going to make it easy. You can break this out and pick your own domain registrar. You just have to do uh, maybe more pieces depending on how you do it. So in my case, I've been working with my uh, daughter. We watch the news, and she's always telling me how it's really nothing but bad news. And so I told her we'll create a website with nothing but good news, and uh, people can go there if they're looking for good news. And so I've, I've, you can see I've searched some of these. Bella News um, is not available, and that's not uh, common. It's not uncommon uh, that people either have a similar idea and they've already popped these up, or somebody's just bought them. A, a bulk of these and they're hoping to, uh, to get rich one day to sell these for thousands of, of dollars but um, if I remember right I think Bella Report is available so let's do a search here it's checking the domain to see if somebody owns it or if we can buy it all right and you can see I, I've already had these two here what I'll do is um, I'm going to continue um, so I have two domains so there's Bella Update and uh, Bella Report so to buy the domain, and you really don't buy it, you rent it. Um, and so it can be $9.95 a year. You do it for five years. It's roughly 50 bucks, but the pricing is, uh, is the same. The only difference is you pay up front. Now, the second thing we're going to do is once you have the domain, uh, you need somebody to actually host all of the web pages for you. So in our case, I'm going to let Yahoo do this. This is why I said it's a good one-stop shop. And... Uh, what you do is um, uh, you pick your hosting. So they'll give you the hosting for the domain, um, they'll host your website, and they'll give you email. And it can be $9.95 a month or $12.95 a month, you know, depending on uh, if you pay up front or if you pay over time. So I'm going to do one month here. Let's hit select. It's going to take them a second to respond. Um, Then what we'll do, uh, you, so VeriSign, if you're doing electronic commerce, meaning you're gonna take somebody's credit card over the web or something like that, where there's a some sort of security uh, risk that you're worried about, you can use this and in, in theory what it'll do is people will uh, will trust you more um, to have this seal on your, your website. It's, it's uh, supposed to give them that, that, that extra feeling of, of confidence. Um, for what we're doing, I don't need that, and I don't want to pay, you know, four dollars a month for it. But it really depends on what you're going to do. Private domain registration means, you know, if somebody types this up after we bought it, they can they can pull it up and see my contact info, my name, maybe my address, uh, email address, all that contact details. If I don't want them to be able to see that, right? Maybe I don't want spam or or what have you. Uh, I can have Yahoo block this for me. So in this case. Uh, we'll go ahead and block that, and I'll select continue. Okay, and so at this point, um, we have web hosting. Uh, we can see you know how much it is per month. We've got a one-time setup fee. We have uh, additional domains, um, and we're all set. And so what I'm going to do at this point is just entering your credit card information. Uh, maybe some other contact deals. 
Um, and I'll go ahead and, and finish this and then it will send me a confirmation email. And that's where we're going to get started in the next step. So we're actually going to log in and start creating and designing uh, the website. So we'll see you in the next video.